So the way you're going to want to start is by putting down a chain command block and into that chain command block you're going to put the command slash execute at at p run set block and then the caret which you get by shift six three times followed by the radius of your sphere which for me I'm going to put in 50 and then the block that you want to make your sphere out of so I'm going to be using glowstone. After you have your first chain command block you're going to want to put in a second chain command block making sure that your first command block is facing into the second one just like I have here and then into that second chain command block you're going to put the command slash execute at at p run tp at p and then the coordinates of the center of your circle which for me that's going to be negative 50 50 300 and then you're going to want one tilde and then the number after that you put is going to be 50 divided by the radius of your circle which for me is one since the radius of my circle is 50 and then another tilde and after that one you're going to want that first number squared and divided by 360 which for me is about 0 0.0027 when in doubt always round down because that'll make it go a little bit slower but you'll be less likely to have any holes in your sphere once it's finished so once you have these two command blocks in your system is technically already functional so you can make the first one a repeat command block if you want to but it would be very slow especially if you're doing a big sphere so what you're probably going to want to do is extend it and the way I recommend you to do that is just have it sneak around like I'm doing here and then once you have that you're going to copy the first command and put it into every other command block just like this and once you have that copy the second command block and again put it into every other command block so that it's filling in the gaps from the first command after this the best way to extend it is probably going to be to clone it but if you're not comfortable cloning you can just continue filling it in like you were doing before but if you are comfortable cloning do that a few times to make sure you have it long enough once you have it cloned to a degree that you're happy with go back to the first command block in the chain and change it from chain to repeat and from always active to needs redstone and after you do that prepare a set block command to put a redstone block right next to your first command block but don't actually run the command yet instead just copy the command and then just press escape so it doesn't go and then you're going to want to look straight up at the sky and then just paste the command you just did into the chat and your circle will start to form this can be kind of laggy it can also take a long time depending on how many command blocks you put in but if you're wondering how long it's going to take pay attention to the second number in the facing row because once that reaches 90 your circle will be finished Once your circle is finished and you want to stop spinning, just run the last command, but instead of a redstone block, just make it air. And you should stop spinning, and your circle is completed. So for anyone who's wondering how this works, it's basically just two commands run over and over again multiple times every frame and each of those commands effectively places a block of whatever material you're using 50 blocks in front of you that's what these carrots mean is they're referring to a distance along an axis relative to where you're facing and so the last one is your line of sight axis so 50 just means the block that's 50 blocks in front of you and the second command all it does is it rotates you just a little bit horizontally and even less vertically so that you're able to make a full horizontal rotation before moving down too far and all it's doing is it's just yeah placing the block rotating you a little bit and just doing that again and again until you've looked at enough points to fill in the entire circle 
The reason we use an execute command rather than just a TP command is that otherwise it would teleport you to this rotation relative to the command block, not relative to yourself, which means you wouldn't actually rotate at all over time because the command block isn't rotating, so you wouldn't rotate. But by saying execute at at P, we're saying do that relative to yourself, not relative to the command block. I sincerely hope that this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please consider liking it or even subscribing because I hope to do more videos like this in the future and hopefully you guys found this interesting enough that you would want to watch more of them. So yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thank you.